Hey guys, I have a humongous <laughs> thrift books haul I want to share with you. This is several orders actually. I recently discovered thriftbooks.com. They also have an app. I didn't know that at first, but then after I got in there and started playing around and everything. Um, so thrift books, they have used books. They also have used movies and they have video games as well, but I didn't see used ones, but I was looking for a Nintendo Switch and all I saw were new. They also have new books, uh, new movies, but this was just my first experience with them, well, through these orders. And I started using the app after my first order. And I've got my notes here. I wrote down how much each of these items cost and then I'm going to read what these books are about for you in case you're interested in any of them. And then I did have one experience with customer service I'm gonna share with you as well. So with thrift books, when you're looking at the books, that was my main focus was books, although I do have two movies. Um, they have them rated. They're like, like new, very good, good, or acceptable. And also the shipping is free at $10. So if you spend $10 or more, it's free shipping, which I think is really great because it's not hard to spend $10 <laughs> on their website. And with my experience, they send you an email when they get your order. They send you an email when it's shipped that's got the tracking and then they give you an estimated date where it will, when it will arrive. Mine always came before the date it said, and they come like in a plastic bag. And so it's just, I've got a lot of items, so let's just get right to them and I'll share with you what I got. So I got the books first, then I got some movies because I didn't know at first that they even had movies. So there's a couple of movies I really wanted that are ones that I've watched over and over again and I would like to own, but I didn't want to spend full price to get the, the brand new. So I got Trick or Treat. I love this movie. I always watch this around Halloween. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this movie cost, okay, it's a DVD. The condition they said is good, and this cost me $5.29. And so here's what the cover looks like. And I'm thinking maybe the reason that they rated it good instead of very good is the tab is broken over here, but it still shuts good and everything. The movie is in good condition. It plays just fine. Um, so yeah, you hear it still snaps shut. It still has the, it shuts good here. So I think this was good. And then the other movie I got is The Mist. Sorry, had cat fur. Um, I love this movie, except the ending. I hate the ending. I like the book. Well, the book, I think now you can buy the book in just a short story, but before it was like in a book, a compilation of Stephen King's that had a lot of short stories, and this was one of them. But this is a really good movie. And The Mist, this one also said it was good, and it was $4.79. And actually I got this one for free because they also have where you order when you get books or movies or whatever you earn points and then eventually you earn a free item and with all this that I have ordered I had a free item so this the listing price was $4.79 but I got it for free so that's the two movies and then for the books this one here this is one that I had the experience with customer service so this is Peter Straub floating dragon and you can also see reviews and this got a lot of really good reviews I really like Peter Straub and I don't think I've ever read this book um, but what this one is about it says two monstrous evils the quiet suburban town of Hampstead is threatened by two horrors one is natural the hideous unstoppable creation of man's power gone mad the other is not natural at all, and it makes the first look like a ch it makes the first <laughs> look like child's play. Um, and then it's got you know the 
a couple of little reviews. Unspeakable Horror has a bestseller written all over it. Buy it today. Um, so I got this. Now the reason I had a dealing with customer service is I ordered this book and one, oh, and I'll tell you the price of it too. I ordered this one and one other and the other one came in the mail, but this one did not. So they have the option to email them or call them. And I started with an email. I figured if I don't hear back from them in a day, I'll, then I'll call them. I heard back from them in like 20 minutes and they apologized and said they don't know what happened, but the actual version that I had ordered was no longer available and credited my account immediately. And so, and then offered some other options. And because I think the one I originally ordered let me see here, Floating Dragon. Yeah, the original one I ordered was $4.69 and was in very good condition. This one is considered good and was $4.19. So, I mean, their description of good and my description, I, I think this is very good, but, so. Like, acceptable, they said, might have writing in it or things like that. None of that would bother me. The only thing that would bother me is if there was pages missing or something. And so, that's this one. And then next, Dean Koontz is another author that I really enjoy. You'll see a theme here. I love horror novels and, like, sci-fi, stuff like that. This one is called False Memory. <laughs> Get another cat hair. My cat, I've had these stacked up and I think he's probably been rubbing his face on them because that's what cats do. Um, so false memory, this one was listed as very good and so I, I get what they mean. It's definitely, I mean it looks almost brand new. Um, and this one costs $4.69 and it says it's a fear more paralyzing than falling more terrifying than absolute darkness, more horrifying than anything you can imagine. It's the one fear you cannot escape, no matter where you want run, no matter where you hide. It's the fear of yourself. It's real, it can happen to you, and facing it can be deadly. False memory, fear for your mind. And it got really good reviews, so I got that one. Up next, another Peter Straub. This one is called Shadowland and this one is very good. It was $4.69 and you can get books cheaper at the thrift store, used books. I, I understand that but with COVID and everything now I'm just not going places like that so this to me was a very good option. Um, and so this one says, you have been there if you've ever been afraid. Come back to a dark house deep in the Vermont woods where two friends are spending a season of horror apprenticed to a master magician. Shadowland, learning secrets best left unlearned, entering a world of incalculable evil more ancient than death itself, more terrifying and more real. Shadowland, only one of them will make it through. And Stephen King, says, I thought it was creepy from page one. I loved it. So, yeah, because like brand new, the list price for this book is $7.99 in the U.S., $10.99 in Canada. So, a um, few dollars cheaper to buy it used. So, that's that one. And then another Dean Koontz. This one is called Dark Fall. And this one was like new and it was $4.79. It's definitely in like new condition. And speaking of thrift stores, when I get used books, or new books for that matter, and I'm done reading them, and if it's one that I don't think that I'll read again in the future, I'll donate them. So that's what I do with my used books, I donate them. Um, so this one actually doesn't have anything on the back. Um, so it says on the inside cover, strange days, winter gripped the city, terror gripped it too. They found four corpses in four days, each more hideous than the last. Ooh, strange nights. At first the cops thought they were dealing with a psychopath, 
but soon they heard eerie sounds in the ventilation system and saw unearthly silver eyes in the snow, sl snow slash night. Final hours. In a city paralyzed by a blizzard, something watches, something stalks. Darkfall. Ooh. And we actually today, in a little bit, are supposed to start getting a bunch of snow. So maybe I'll start this one. <laughs> I love scary books. They're the best. Then I have Stephen King. Now this is a book, I don't know if you can see, but I actually, I, I love Stephen King. I have several books of his right here on my desk and then I have some more back here on my desk because I do reread Stephen King. Um, but anyway, I read so many books, sometimes I forget them anyway. But this is one I've never read. I've seen the movie and I love the movie. Kathy Bates is amazing. But I've never read Misery, so I wanted to read it. Because for me, in my opinion, the books are always better than the movies. So this one, this was actually the first book I ordered from Thrift Books. This, it's Stephen King, so for some reason his books are more. This one was $7.59. Yeah, it's $12.99 is the list price. So it was $7.59 and it was listed as very good. And it is. I mean, it, this one barely feels like the binding was even... I don't know if the binding was even cracked. This one to me actually looks more like like new, except there's this little line, so maybe. But um, so the back of this one says, best-selling novelist Paul Sheldon thinks he's finally free of misery Chastain. In a controversial career move, he's just killed off the popular protagonist of his beloved romance series in favor of expanding his creative horizons. But such a change doesn't come without consequences. After a near-fatal car accident in rural Colorado leaves his body broken, Paul finds himself at the mercy of the terrifying rescuer who's nursing him back to health. His self-proclaimed number one fan, Annie Wilkes, Annie is very upset over what Paul did to Misery and demands that he finds a way to bring her back by writing a new novel, his best yet and one that's all for her. After all, Paul has all the, set, all the time in the world to do so as a prisoner in her isolated house and Annie has some very persuasive and violent methods to get exactly what she wants. And boy does she, at least in the movie, so I'll see what it's going to be like in the book. So the next is The Winter People. I can tell that whoever bought this book bought it at Target. <laughs> and The Winter People is, this one is considered good condition. It was $4.19. And this is by Jennifer McMahon. And it says, Some Secrets Never Die. West Hall, Vermont has always been a town of strange disappearances and old legends. The most mysterious is that of Sarah Harrison Shea, who in 1908 was found dead in a field behind her house just months after the tragic death of her daughter. Now, in the present day, 19-year-old Ruthie lives in Sarah's farmhouse with her mother, Alice, and her younger sister, Fawn. Alice has always insisted that they live off the grid, a decision that has weighty consequences when Ruthie wakes up one morning to find that Alice has vanished. In her search for clues, she is startled to find a copy of Sarah Harrison Shea's diary hidden beneath the floorboards of her mother's bedroom. As Ruthie gets sucked into the historical mystery, she discovers that she's not the only person looking for someone they've lost, but she may be the only one who can stop history from repeating itself. This one sounded like maybe it would be kind of a ghost story and I love like ghost stories and haunted stories and stuff but it just sounded really intriguing to me so looking forward to that one I'm actually looking forward to all of these then I got then she was gone by Lisa Jewell I think I've heard of this book before did they make this into a movie um, then she was gone this is considered very good and it costs six dollars and thirty nine cents. The list price is sixteen dollars. So, did they make this into a movie? Do you guys know? It sounds so familiar to me. So this says, no one ever just disappears. Ellie Mack was the perfect daughter, and then she was gone. 
10 years after Ellie's disappearance, her mother, Laurel Mack, is trying to put her life back together when she meets an ex unexpectedly charming man in, her, in a cafe. Sorry. Before she knows it, she's meeting Floyd's daughters, and his youngest, Poppy, takes Laurel's breath away because the eerily precocious Poppy is the spitting image of Ellie, and now the unanswered questions she's tried so hard to put to rest begin haunting Laurel anew. Where did Ellie go? Did she run away from home as the police have long su suspected? Or did something more sinister happen? A haunting page turner of sheer perfection. Um, then She Was Gone is a gripping and emotionally resonant tale of one mother's quest to uncover the clues she failed to recognize and finally discover the truth of what happened to her daughter. It just sounded really good. The next, this book I actually heard about from somebody on YouTube I watch named Jessica Braun. And um, it's also an Indigo staff pick of the month. Uh, it's Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine and this isn't like a scary book or anything but this one was rated as good the condition and it was six dollars and 19 cents and the list price uh, 1995 so no one's ever told Eleanor that life should be better than fine I don't know I'm okay with fine uh, meet Eleanor Oliphant. She struggles with appropriate school social skills and tends to say exactly what she's thinking. Nothing is missing in her carefully timetabled life, where weekends mostly consist of frozen pizza, vodka, and phone chats with money. But everything changes when Eleanor meets Raymond, the bumbling IT guy from her office whose big heart will ultimately help Eleanor find the way to repair her own profoundly damaged one. Smart, warm, and uplifting, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine is the story of an out-of-the-ordinary heroine whose deadpan weirdness <laughs> and wit make for an irresistible journey as she realizes the only way to survive is to open your heart. And Jessica said that she could hardly put this book down. And so she just really liked the main character and everything. So I'm hoping I will too. So there's that one. Then... I got a book by Ken Grimwood called Replay. What if you could live your life over again and again and again? So that's this one. And Replay, this one was rated as very good and the, the price I paid was $4.69. And the list price is $13.95. I know I haven't said the list price of every book, um, but it's like if I can just see it right there, I just said it. Um, this one is more kind of sci-fi sounding anyway, but it says, A time travel classic in the tradition of Jack Finney's Time and Again, Ken Grimwood's acclaimed novel, Replay, asks the provo provocative question, What if you could live your life over again, knowing the mistakes you'd made before? 43-year-old Jeff Winston gets several chances to do just that. Trapped in a tepid marriage and a dead-end job, he dies in 1988 and wakes up to find himself in 1963, at the age of 18, staring at his dorm room walls at Emory University. It's all the same, but different. Jeff knows what the future holds. He knows who will win every World Series, every Kentucky Derby, even how to win on Wall Street. The one thing he doesn't know is, why has he been chosen to replay his life? And how many times must he win and lose everything he loves? And this was the winner of the 1988 World Fantasy Award for Best Novel and published in 11 languages. It says, Replay unravels the answers in a masterful skein that captivates our imagination. This just sounded really good to me, so hopefully it is. This one was recommended to me by my friend Jane. And Jane, when you recommended it, I didn't even look to see what it was about. I just ordered it. But this is another Stephen King, and it's 112263. Oh, it's also on Hulu now. I don't have Hulu, but this is now a Hulu original event series. This book is huge. <laughs> How many pages is this thing? 849 
so wow this is a big book but I have read it and that was also a big book and the stand is huge so this one uh, is listed in very good condition and it was eight dollars and nine cents and the list price is 20 bucks in the US and 25 in Canada uh, this one says winner of the 2012 Los Angeles Times book prize um, Dallas 11-22-63. Three shots ring out. President John F. Kennedy is dead. Life can turn on a dime or stumble into the extraordinary as it does for Jake Epping, a high school English teacher in a Maine town. While grading essays by his GED students, Jake reads a gruesome, enthralling piece penned by janitor Harry Dunning. Fifty years ago, Harry somehow survived his father's sledgehammer slaughter of his entire family. Jake is blown away. But an even more bizarre secret comes to light when Jake's friend, Al, owner of the local diner, enlists Jake to take over the mission that has become his obsession, to prevent the Kennedy assassination. How? By stepping through a portal in the diner's storeroom and into the era of Ike and Elvis, of big American cars, sock hops, and cigarette smoke, finding himself in warm-hearted Jody, Texas, Jake begins a new life. But all turns in the road lead to a troubled loner named Lee Harvey Oswald. The course of history is about to be rewritten and become heart-stoppingly suspenseful. In Stephen King's most ambitious and accomplished novel, time travel has never been so believable or so terrifying. That does sound really good. It, but I just, I've had books recommended to me before. And so far nobody's ever led me wrong so I ordered this and wow <laughs> I was not expecting it to be so big but I think eight bucks was a steal for this ginormous book especially Stephen King since his books usually go for so much more then I got um, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn this is another one I think I've heard of this book uh, this one's considered good condition. It was $5.39. And the list price is not just like right there. Maybe it's on the inside. This one has some writing in it. <laughs> A little bit of writing. Doesn't bother me in the least. Okay, here's the price. $17.99. Canada $24.99. It says, one of those rare books that really is unputdownable, <laughs> delightful and chilling. That's what Stephen King said. People seem to like to get Stephen King's opinion. It says, if it isn't paranoia, it, okay, starting over. It isn't paranoia if it's really happening. Anna Fox lives alone, a recluse in her New York City home, unable to venture outside. She spends her days drinking wine, maybe too much watching old movies, recalling happier times, and spying on her neighbors. Then the Russells move into the house across the way. A father, a mother, their teenage son, the perfect family. But when Anna, gazing out her window one night, sees something she shouldn't, her world begins to crumble, and its shocking secrets are laid bare. What's real? What's imagined? Who is in danger? Who is in control? In this diabolically gripping thriller, no one and nothing is what it seems. Twisty and powerful, ingenious and moving. The Woman in the Window is a smart, sophisticated novel of psychological suspense that recalls the best of Hitchcock, an unforgettable thriller that Gillian Flynn calls amazing. Sounds good, doesn't it? So... And then the last one is actually the only hardback book I got. And it's another Stephen King. And this one is Rose Matter. It's another one of his that I have never read. I mean, he's got so many books. I have 16 books of his on my desk. He's written over 50. I don't intend to read all, all of those. But anyway, here's Rose Matter. Like I said, it was the only hardback book I got. And this one is listed as very good. It was $4.69. So 
So it doesn't seem to me like when I was looking through the books that sometimes the hardbacks were cheaper by a lot than the paperbacks. So I don't know if that's just because people like that they take up less space or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so Rose Matter. This one, roused by a single drop of blood on the bed sheet, Rosie Daniels wakes from 14 years of a nightmare marriage and suddenly takes flight. She uses her husband's ATM card to buy a bus ticket, determined to lose herself in a place where Norman won't find her. She'll worry about all the rest later. Alone in a strange city, she begins to make a new life and good things start to happen. Meeting Bill Steiner is one and finding a junk shop painting is another. It may be bad art, but it's perfect for her new apartment and somehow it seems to want her as much as she wants it. Still, it's hard for Rosie not to keep looking over her shoulder and with good reason. Her husband is a cop with the instincts of a predator. He's very good at finding people. The fact that he's losing his mind might even be an advantage. Rose maddened and on the rampage, okay, so he's mad, okay, Rose maddened. So Rose made him mad, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Rose Madden and on the rampage, Norman Daniels becomes a force of relentless terror and savageness, a man almost mythic in his monstrosity for Rosie to survive. Okay, in his monstrosity. I'm so sorry, guys. For Rosie to survive, for her to have a chance in her brave new world, she must enter her own myth, a world that lies beyond the surface of a work of art and become a woman she never knew she could be. Rose Matter. So she's Rose, it's even matter at the ex, at the husband. So, wow. But this was another one. I think it's one, after I ordered a couple of other books, they'll send emails that, like, recommend, and this was recommended, and so I ordered it. So, gosh, which one should I start first? I'm thinking maybe that snowstorm one. I'm thinking this is the one I'm going to start and my whole stack's about to fall. So since we're getting snow today, I think this will be a good one. So that's everything I ordered from thrift books. If any of these sounded interesting to you, at least whenever I was ordering these, they had other copies and other, um, that you could order. So, but I really, have been impressed with the selection they had and the customer service I got to experience the one time. The shipping is great. Everything just worked out really good. So I hope this helped you if you're a book lover like myself and I will stop rambling because I know this video is already almost a half an hour. But thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have a good day. Bye.